The following program is rated U for universal audiences and is considered suitable for listeners of all ages. This is a presentation of Dream Realm Enterprises, where dreams become reality. It's another episode of DBB. friends back to the latest dbb uh, i am your host john russell um it has been a while and i apologize for that um i cannot promise the sound quality on this um there is some background noise it's <laughs> winter is uh, officially over but uh, apparently mother nature around here in West Virginia, where I am, has decided that uh, winter deserves a second chance. <laughs> so it's a bit cold, so the heat's on. So my apologies, my apologies for that. Um, so if it, it if it does sound weird, forgive it, please. <laughs> but um, yeah, today I wanted to do a special DBB because uh, I have uh, some things I wanted to let you know. Special announcement, if you will. I don't want to make it too dramatic. Um, I did give uh, some people a heads up on this episode and that I would have some things to say and to update everyone on. And um, I don't even know where to begin, but um, I do have some things I need to talk about. I uh, also have some noisy neighbors, and I have a curious cat that you may hear in the background, so I apologize. Um, anyway, um, I've been uh, very busy this year so far. Unfortunately, not on audio work. Um, I haven't had time to really even think about it for the most part. And uh, that pains me, you know, that, that that's, I love doing audio work. I love doing creative things, but sadly, I, I've not had the chance to do that because of real life, of course. Um, some of you, if you, if you've been listening to this show uh, regularly, at least for the last year, probably know um, but for the rest of you who don't, my mother, who is 90 years old now, um, she, uh, broke her leg back in August of this past year, 2023, and, uh, she was also, while in the hospital, diagnosed with dementia. Um, so my wife and I took it on ourselves to care for her and, uh, try to help her through these difficulties. Um, she's been in therapy trying to get better at walking again. And, uh, of course, it's day-to-day -day with the dementia, and she has good days and bad days. I'm sure anybody out there who's had family members with dementia, you you know exactly what I'm talking about. And it is not an easy situation. Um, there's no, um, you know, there's no good goal on that one. Um, there's no happy ending on that one. Uh, my mother's older brother had it as well, and uh, he passed just a couple of years ago um, at um, 91, I believe. Um, and he had it for a number of years, though. Um, and it, uh, you know, it got progressively worse over time. But uh, I'm not sure if my mother's progressing faster or not, but again, she has, she has her good days, she has her bad days, and, and her bad days can really be bad sometimes. Um, it's not to the point where she doesn't recognize me and my wife, uh, but she, there are certain people she doesn't recognize so, um, at times. And then she has really good days where she knows you know, everything. <laughs> so, um, but it's, it's a challenge. It's a huge challenge. 
And uh, it's a challenge for me. I, I've got my own medical problems. Um, and I've got my own psychological problems. I, I deal with anxiety. I have uh, let you guys know that in the past in an episode, I think, last year of, of this, of DBB. And uh, so I've been transparent about that kind of stuff. And this has done nothing to help my situation. So uh, my anxiety is uh, no better than it was. Let's just put it that way. Um, because, yeah, I've got, a, I've got a lot more to worry about now than I, <laughs> than I thought I did when I recorded that episode last year, letting everybody know about anxiety and that I had it. Um, and it's, it's not an easy thing for me to admit, and I don't like to talk about it, but I felt I needed to at the time, and I, fe I feel like I need to address this stuff now. I feel that it's very important to just let you guys know what's going on and, and my thought processes and the decisions that I've painstakingly made. I've, I've thought about these things quite a lot. Uh, I haven't had much time to do anything but think. And, um, of course, the, the idea has been forever to, you know, find a way to do more audio work and creative things and somehow have a creative outlet. I'm a creative person, and I always have been. And uh, it runs in the family. But... Um, I uh, I simply don't have time to devote that. I don't have the time that I need <laughs> to devote to this, you know, that it needs, if, if you will, to put it another way. I don't have the time that it requires to do the kind of creative things that I want to do and to uh, work on these shows that I've been promising for a long time. And that's, you know, that's kind of the bane of the whole thing. The bane of my existence right now and for the last couple of years or so is that I keep coming on here and recording episodes of DBB and promising you guys that, you know, soon you're going to hear this and soon you're going to hear that. And the intention is there and slowly we have worked on a few things behind the scenes and you know i've had a, a little bit of help here and there but it's not enough I, I i don't have enough help at the current time to get finished the 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 few things that are really being held up and i don't have the time or the peace of mind <laughs> to do what it is that i need to do well for example, we'll take Robots of the Company. Um, I started a new season, of course, um, a year ago or so, <laughs> however long it's been. Um, I started a new season, and we've had a couple of episodes, maybe. And then it, it, I led, I, I did a big cliffhanger and was leading into the big 100th episode of Robots of the Company, something we've anticipated for a very long time. I wrote a script. I wrote the 100th script, <laughs> as a matter of fact, which was going to be a part one of whatever, because uh, the story was so big, I didn't know how I would fit it all into one half hour. So I thought, well, 100 will, will set up what comes next. But I have not had time to work on that. And I wasn't happy with the episode I called 100 um, when I finished it. And I, I knew it needed a lot of polishing and, and maybe even a, a, a major rewrite. Because I'm just, I, it's, it's okay, but it's, it's just not to the standard where I want it. It's not as funny as I would like it to be. And uh, it feels kind of rushed because I was trying to get it done and... Um, it, it's just not where I would like it to be. Um, and I have ideas there. My hope and my intention is to eventually finish it. Um, and hopefully this year. But see, I'm, I'm not going to sit here and say, oh, well, it's going to be done here in, you know, in a couple of months. You'll get to hear it this summer. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. And we have uh, our fantasy series, Magic, Monsters, and Mayhem, 
which we have the fourth season, book four, which we recorded quite some time ago, has had some post-production work, but has a lot of post-production work yet to go on it, and I've been promising that for a long time. And it's way, <laughs> way off from where uh, it should be. It's 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 been delayed for something like three, four years now from when it should have been released. Um, and all I can do is apologize for that, and I've been telling you since, you know, for, for these last few years, it's coming, it's coming, we're working on it. And I haven't, it's not like it was a lie, we, we have slowly been working on it, but it is a huge project. And, uh, and I did that to myself. <laughs> I decided to come up with a big epic storyline, a big epic fantasy. And, um, at, you know, when I started it, I had you know, people and, and some resources, and it looked like it was doable, and, and certainly we got through, you know, season three, book three, we got through that, and, uh, you know, uh, it, 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 it came together, <laughs> but it was a big job, and at the time, you know, I had really solid help. Uh, my good friend Jeff Niles helped me work on it, and sadly, we've now lost him four years ago. I cannot believe it's been four years, but it's now been over four years since poor Jeff passed away. Um, and others have stepped in and tried to help me, and they've helped me with certain things. Um, and that's great, and I'm very grateful to them. Um, but again, I just don't have enough resources right now to complete that season because it is a huge undertaking. There's a lot yet to do to all of that. And I, I know some of you probably out there going, well, what could there possibly be that's so huge to do, you know, to finish a few episodes of an audio series? Well, you, you'd you be surprised. You'd be surprised. But there's, you know, there's, there's mastering of lines. There's editing to, you know, stitching the lines together, editing those together putting in effects, putting in music, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, it, it's just a, it's a big undertaking, especially for one person. And that's, you know, that's all I am. I'm one person. So uh, I'm not going to promise that you're going to get to hear that real soon. And I'm not even going to promise that you're ever going to get to hear it. I hope you will. My intention is that you will. I want to finish that. I want to finish the story. You know, it's been written, so it's finished. It's been recorded. It, that you know, those parts are finished. Um, we, I don't know. I haven't listened to every single line, most of it, but I don't. I can't guarantee that every single line is there, and I won't need you know pickups or retakes. But uh, again, this is part of the you know the fact that it, you, you, this is the th things that make it a huge undertaking because there's still a lot of things, a lot of work to be done to it. A lot of work. So, and no doubt there will be effects to create or find or hunt down. Um, I could go on and on. There's just so much yet to do on that show. So, I'm not going to promise it. I'm not going to promise it. Someday, in, in the near future, you will get to uh, see the ending. You know, it may just come down to I eventually just release the scripts and you guys can read them. Um, I don't know. I don't. I've thought about that. As a matter of fact, I don't know. I don't want to go that route. Obviously, I, I want you to be able to experience it as it was meant to be experienced. <laughs> Listen to it. Get engrossed in it, in the narrative of it, and the drama of it, and the, the performances. I I want you to experience that. But it breaks my heart that I can't give you that, <laughs> and I can't give you. You know, a date as to when you're gonna when you're gonna get that experience. Um, we have a sci-fi show that I started called Spacers Inc. That um, is still in post production, and I don't know if it's going to get finished. Um, I don't know if you ever hear it from you know from the get go. There are only three episodes recorded and written. I started some other scripts, 
Uh, there was supposed to be more, obviously, than three episodes. I had a whole big plan for that, and uh, yeah, I haven't I haven't had time to fully realize it or complete it. Um, so there's just so much. You see, there's so much that I want to do, and you can you can go on our website and see all the series that we've worked on over the years, and there are a few that we'd hope to continue to work on. Um, of course, we also do Doctor Who, which is our fan produced series, one of them. Um, that, hopefully, we will get to do a little more on. Um, but I, I can't promise you anything. We've got one that's uh, been mostly recorded. Most of it's been recorded. Um, a special that hopefully we will get out later in the year. Fingers crossed. But I'm going to digress here because there's all this stuff and I can't promise anything and I'm not going to promise anything and I'm not going to say you're, you're going to hear that this year. You're going to hear that next month or you you know, any of that. I'm not, I'm not going to do that. What the tough decision that I've made and it really breaks my heart to have to do it because of the situation that I'm in and I don't know when this situation is going to change or or lighten up, um, I'm going to have to go into sort of (laughs) semi-retirement. I don't want to say full retirement from audio or creative things, but certainly semi-retirement. Now, I can do the odd podcast, like um, QWho, which is our... it's it's, It's my little fan podcast devoted to classic Doctor Who which is uh, one of my loves. It's one of my hobbies and something that keeps me going. There's always something to talk about there. There's new releases of uh, classic stuff and you know stuff going on there. And, and you will continue now and again to hear that. It doesn't take long to, uh, to do. Just like this, I can sit down and just talk. And then a little bit of... Uh, a little bit of... Um, audio magic to, you know, edit it if need be and add, you know, music or whatever to the background. Um, that's e- it, that's easy. That, that's something I can do and do it fairly quickly. And I can usually pop out an episode in a day and uh, or two. And there you go. Bob's your uncle. They, they don't usually last more than 10, 15, 20 minutes, sometimes a little longer, depending on what we've got to talk about. Uh, like this, like DBB. With DBB, DBB is supposed to be a behind-the-scenes um, podcast to to tell you what's going on and and how you know what we're doing and how we do it and the motivations behind it and hopefully now and again talk to you know people who worked on projects and things like that. So you're not going to get any more DVDs for a while, DBBs for a while because nothing's happening. Nothing's really happening. And, uh, so yeah, that, that is my big announcement, I guess you could say, is I am retiring from audio, at least (laughs) semi-retiring. I'm going to do what I can do when I can do it. And I'm not going to sit here on DVB and announce this is coming soon or here's what we're working on. I'm not going to do that anymore. So you're not going to get any more DBBs, at least not for a while. If you get one, it's because something really is coming. If you ever see a DBB listed again in the near future, it's because we've actually finished something. And it really is coming. And that's the only way I'm going to do another DBB this year or next year or whenever. Um, That's when we actually have something to release. So it's not full stop. (laughs) It's not abandon ship. We're not abandoning anything. We're not stopping everything. We're still going to slowly chug away, but it's a snail's pace at this point. It's a snail pace. It's just, there's no two ways around it. It's when things come, and hopefully they will, it's going to be at a very, very slow pace. So that's why I'm not even going to talk about it until I have something to release. If if ever I do, 
I, I you know, I don't know what life's going to throw me. What what kind of curveballs come are coming next? Hopefully none. <laughs> Hopefully the only curveballs coming next are good ones. If I ever did get the funding that I would like and the time, then it would be full on, and you would really see uh, an increase of production. But um, you know, I'm not a rich person. Um, so I don't have those means. I, I, you know, I can't hire people to come in and edit and all that kind of stuff. If I ever were in a position to do so, say if I won that lottery, <laughs> then, uh, yeah, I would, I would, uh, it'd be full on with DRE and I'd hire some editors and man, we'd be in business. But at this point, that is not the case. Um, you know, if George Lucas came calling and said, Hey, I'll give you a million bucks and here you go. Go do it. I'd do it. I'd do it. I'd find a way. Because, again, I could hire some creative people to help me out. I'm not in that position, and I don't know George Lucas personally. So, um, I might know a friend of a friend of a friend of a friend, etc., that knows him, but that's as close as I'll ever get, probably. Um, at any rate, this is, this is an, a retirement announcement, essentially. At least a semi-retirement announcement. I will keep my hand in, as I said. I will do the odd q who. I've got one that I'm going to be recording soon because they just released the Daleks in color over here in the U.S. I finally got to pick it up and watch it. So I am going to review it. <laughs> so it, it gives me something. You know, it gives me something. It, it's, it's better than nothing. <laughs> Let's put it that way. So, and uh, we, you know... I am going to try and uh, finish that Doctor Who special that, like I said, it's like 90% recorded. Um, I'm going to do my best. And I have a couple people who will help me with the editing on that. So, And we've got some uh, fan stuff coming from the likes of Lee James Sands, who's been working with me on the, the fan area of DRE. And I am ever so grateful to him for doing so. And he's got a lot of ideas, and, uh, you know, he's trying to produce some, some shows on our behalf and with us, with my input. But um, um, my input's not amazing these days because I just simply haven't had time. So Lee pitches me all these wonderful ideas, and all I can kind of do is go, yeah, that sounds great. Um, you know, let's do this, let's do that, you know. It, it, there's a little back and forth, but uh, it's, you know, credit where credit's due. Lee, Lee Lee comes up with a lot of ideas, and Lee's doing the work there. So thank you, Lee, if you're listening. I really appreciate it. You're a great friend, and, uh, uh, you know, you're, you're a great help to me in this. And he will continue to be going forward. Um, so he's, he's going to continue to help me with this fan stuff. Uh, which, you know, DRE's always had a hand in, and uh, I'm happy to, to be able to keep a hand in, and that'll that'll keep us afloat a bit. So that is that is a help, a godsend, if you will. That's, that's going to keep us going. You're going to still be hearing about DRE. So um, if nothing else, for that reason, for the fan stuff, the, the fan range, if you will. So uh, there will be some things coming through. And at some point, hopefully, other things will come through, like Robots of the Company, episode 100. And like I said, I've got ideas for how to fix that script. And uh, it'll just then be a matter of recording it, mastering it, etc. Editing it. So eventually, that will happen. Eventually. I don't know if we'll ever have an episode 101, but I do intend somehow to do an episode 100. I'm not going to leave it on a cliffhanger. I promise you, we'll figure that out. So uh, make it a little more of a self-contained episode as it was originally intended to be. It might be a big one. <laughs> it may be an hour long once it finally hits. But uh, yeah, it, it may be the final episode of Robots of the Company ever. I don't know. I don't want it to be. And I don't think the cast really want it to be over and done with. But um, unfortunately, because of my situation, and because I, time is not on my side, because it's not on 
it's not on my mother's side and it's not on my wife's side and uh there are all these things to deal with medically emotionally etc uh, i cannot devote the time to dre that i would like to so dear friends i apologize for the millionth time that the situation is what it is it is out of my control it's out of my hands it's um in the hands of the fates whatever they are and i'm not going to pretend to know what they are so <laughs> it is what it is let's just put it that way and it will be what it will be i know what i want it to be but i don't know if i can make it <laughs> what i want it to be so i'm doing my best and I will continue to do my best. And uh, I appreciate everybody who has stood by and waited. And I appreciate the people who still listen to stuff. I know people still listen. Because I see the numbers. People download things. People visit the website. People visit our feed. They, they, they're downloading things off of our feed and listening. Um... I get those numbers, you know, they, they send me those updates now and again. I think about certain updates I get, like, weekly, certain updates I get monthly, but I get the updates. People are still listening to, you know, to the old stuff. So so somebody likes what we've done, <laughs> and maybe they're through word of mouth saying, hey, check this out and check that out. These these Dream Realm Enterprises people, they, they're pretty good. Um, maybe they're robots fans. I don't know. Um, robots is popular. <laughs> robots is popular. Our Doctor Who series is actually fairly popular. Um, a number of our series, we have a number of series, and, and you know, most of them are you know fairly popular. So people are still listening, and if you are one of those people that's still listening, thank you, thank you so much for going back and listening to the old stuff. It's not going away. It's going to be there. The website's going to continue to be there. Um, our YouTube channels are going to still be there. I'm, I may have to reconfigure that a bit because I made two channels. I made a fan channel and I made a, an original channel. And now I'm just kind of thinking, why did I do that? Maybe that wasn't, maybe that wasn't necessary. <laughs> maybe that wasn't wise. I don't know. But um, they're there. They're there. So you can look at a, look us up on YouTube. We have shows on Spotify. We you know we have where you know wherever you get podcasts. There you know there's the feed is there. Our shows are there. So hopefully you will continue to enjoy what we've already produced because a lot of work went into it, and I'm glad that people enjoy it. So if you are one of those people and you are listening to me now, thank you. I can't thank you enough. All of you who listen to me ramble here on DBB and on Q who um, and so on I I really appreciate it I love you guys to death um, I love that you listen but I you know I love that you are loyal and that you stick with us no matter what and maybe there will be a few of you that will still be sticking with us, even though you th the future is so uncertain and you don't know when or if there will be another original release. Thank you ahead of time. If you're one of those people that will stick with us and be watching and watching the Internet and hoping that we release something. Um, my intention is to do so. Um, but I can, you know, I can do only what, you know, Again, what the fates will allow. So, here's to the future. Here's hoping. <laughs> so, I'm going to wrap this up. There will be a Q-Who soon, like I said. I'm going to review that Daleks in Color that the BBC did for the 60th anniversary. And I'm going to review Season 15's coming out as a box set. Or it's out. It's out now. I'm, I'm just waiting for mine to be delivered. <laughs> Once I've got that and gone through it, and I don't know how much time that'll take because I don't have the time I used to have, eventually you'll get a review of that. <laughs> My thoughts on it, at least. So thank you guys for listening, and hopefully you will tune into those things. Um, 
just to uh, you know, just to hear your 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 boy ramble on about something at least. <laughs> um. So yeah, if you enjoy classic Doctor Who, then yeah, come and listen to me ramble on Q Who, and uh, stay tuned for other things that we have planned in the fan in the fan range. What Lee and I come up with there. So. Um, I I would like to thank a few people. I don't want to I don't want to go overboard because there are people you know people that won't get mentioned and that always sucks. But I I you know I've already thanked Lee James Sands, who continues to be you know a, a good friend and a good colleague and and of immense help to me. Thank you Maria Mazer, who's done a lot of editing for us over the last few years and who is a good friend as well that I haven't had time to really connect with much this past year because of craziness um and she knows she knows but um she's my sister from another mother if you will and uh she's she's been there for me a lot and i appreciate it uh helping us with uh various things on dre with dre um and I think the the casts of our shows. I'm not going to name all of you individually. You know who you are: Joe J. Thomas and Sally Wiggett and so many other brilliant people who uh, are still hanging in there, waiting for me to send them stuff to work on. Paul RBC is another one who probably bugs me more than anybody else for something to do, <laughs> which is great. Please don't stop, Paul. Don't stop bugging me because maybe, maybe. You'll keep encouraging me to uh, to actually get my butt in gear and do something. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, all of you guys out there like that, wonderful castmates, I appreciate you. I love you guys to death. We're family here at DRE. It's the DRE family. I know you, you know most of you stray and do things for other uh, production companies, which is cool, and you do brilliant work wherever you do it and with whom you do it uh i i i listen where i can um so keep it up keep it up but always remember dre is here and we're not we're not going anywhere just yet so yes time to wrap it up i've been i've been (laughs) i've been drawing on for half an hour and i didn't intend to do that Thank you guys for listening to me ramble on and draw on for half an hour and for all the hours that I have on DBB over these past several years. It's been six, seven years, my goodness, for this show alone with well over 100 episodes. So uh, that in itself is quite an achievement. And the fact that anybody might have listened to all of those (laughs) episodes and instances when I've rambled on. Oh, bless you. <laughs> bless you, bless you. Um, I, I can't thank all of you guys enough. Um, you keep me going. You keep me going, just knowing you're there. I mean it when I say it. I love you guys to death. And I love doing this. And hopefully... Hopefully I get to continue to do so. So, fates, whoever you are, please let me keep doing this, even if it is you know, a bit at a time. All right. Watch, watch for me on socials. <laughs> I'm sure I'll be there somewhere giving you tidbits. Um, the journey's not done. There's more to do, and... and Hopefully we will do it. So until next time, you guys certainly know the drill. Please stay tuned. Thank you. Thank you.